Earl Sweatshirt, some rap songs. What's up, everybody? This is Aaron, and welcome back to Album of the Week. And today's album of this week, as we do this weekly, of course, uh, we have the album Some Rap Songs by Earl Sweatshirt. And as you can see, I have it on vinyl as well. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, this album is very good. I really like this album, uh, mainly for two things. One, it's kind of experimental, and two, it's just it flows very well. Like all the songs, just like uh, the this album's pretty short. It's only at a runtime of about a little over twenty four minutes, I believe, and the span of fifteen songs. So it's pretty short. Some of the songs, I believe, there's like two songs that are even under a minute. So the songs are very short and concise here, which I think works in its favor very well. It's just twenty four minutes of just raw pure like emotions like it's so like pure and concentrated that i think that really benefits the album as a whole i mean the album cover is something else i mean if you look at the album cover and you think you're gonna get something not abstract and experimental well then you're wrong because this is abstract hip-hop at its finest i love it the most poppy song on here would probably be the first song shattered dreams uh because it's just very groovy and it's very nice and it's it was the first song that i started liking on the album uh, but now I realize that there's a lot more. There's a lot more here to unpack than just the first song. Many of the songs feature old, like samples from like old compositions in music, with Earl rapping over them with glitched out and sometimes muffled the beats. It's very like it, like it. I don't know, like it puts me in a trance. Like I really like it. I really like how it just like works. Cause like when you think about it, it realistically shouldn't work. Cause like it's just like all these like weird sounds conglomerating into every single song that this project offers. But it just works so well. I love it. Some songs are genuinely kind of carried by the vocal samples in the background. Songs like The Bends and Veins kind of rely on it in order to keep the groove going. Same with Azucar and Shattered Dreams as well, I guess. Some of the songs kind of remind me of a little bit of stuff that JPEG Mafia has made in the past, like Nowhere to Go. And, uh, you know, they, it kind of reminds me a little bit of JPEG Mafia stuff. But JPEG Mafia is like more experimental and fun, in my opinion. I need to listen to more JPEG Mafia, if I'm being honest. Maybe I'll review him one day if I listen to it, like an actual full project from him. As I'm sure you know if you've watched any of these album reviews before, I really like Death Grips. Uh, definitely one of my favorite bands ever. Uh, this is not like that, but it's also hip-hop, so that's something, maybe. I feel like it's self-aware. A lot of the songs have to deal with themes about depression and stuff. I know when Earl made this album, he was possibly depressed at his own time. He, like before he made this album, he canceled tours because of ang citing anxiety as the main issue. And uh, there's several like like uh, verses and lines that really just stick with me on the top of them. Like, see the ghost of who I was, lonesome as I was. Also, peace to every crease on your brain, which sounds kind of sweet on the surface, but when you think about the themes of depression, it's not. So uh, it's a little bit more sinister. And the song Peanut is probably one of the saddest songs I've ever heard. It's so just like, it sounds so like glitchy and distorted, but like it keeps like this very like depressing and depraved atmosphere throughout the entire, throughout the entirety of it. And it's definitely one of my favorite songs in there just because of how like glitchy and like emotional it is through that glitchiness. I really like that song. Songs like December 24th have feature very sad chords and melodies that play in the background as all raps over them. Same with the song Playing Possum, which, feature, which features vocal samples from, I believe, his mom and his dad. And it works really well. I really like that song. It's surprisingly one of the better cuts in this album, considering it doesn't feature or rapping at all. Songs like Azucar feature like a very, like, kind of circus-like atmosphere. I know that may not make sense, but the way I see it, it sounds very, like, kind of, like, jumbled, but also, like, kind of fun. And on honestly, a lot of the songs have this, like, nostalgic feeling to them, and I really like that. I feel like that works in its favor a lot. The final song on this project, Riot, is also the most streamed song, I believe, on Spotify. So that's something. Uh, but it's completely instrumental. It doesn't feature any vocals from Earl at all. Um, and it's essentially just some guitar strumming and then some, a trumpet comes in later. And it's very nice and sweet and short. And I think it uh, caps off the album perfectly, in my opinion. I think it's great. But it also, like, I'm 90% sure it's a sample. And it's it seems, like, very old. And it has this, it has a nostalgic feeling to it as well. The entire album kind of has that feeling of like, like decades ago music and stuff like that. It's very short and concise and sweet. And it's not a very overbearing project. So if you have some time, if you like a, if you like a song or two off of this, you should listen. To, you should listen to the entire thing. I definitely recommend it. I do plan to listen to more Earl Sweatshirt albums, but I've also heard that this is like his magnum opus. So like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this album. 
I think it's really interesting. I think it's really fascinating. I personally enjoy it. I'm glad I got it on vinyl and parental advisory explicit content, but nobody cares about that. Yeah, Earl Sweatshirt, some rap songs. I mean, even the title, you can tell like it has this like more like laid back kind of vibe to it. And it is. Some of the songs are very chill. Like, uh, I believe songs like The Benz and The Mint feature like kind of like these weird groovy atmospheres that are seem very chill and laid back. But when you like that, when you delve deeper into the lyrics and stuff, the lyricism, you find more themes about darker and deeper topics, which I feel like adds to the album a lot. Usually I don't care that much for the lyrics of songs as long as the song is good. But I feel like the the meaning behind the songs really improves or it really it makes your understanding and it makes you appreciate the album a lot more when you know what the songs are about and like, you know, all that stuff. Especially because everybody's gone through depression, everybody's gone through sadness. So it's something that everybody can relate to. Overall the atmosphere is really nice, the lyricism is really nice, the beats are just insane and it's nice and experimental. I like that. And it's short and concise. Like it's very sweet. Some of the songs, a lot of the songs are super short in here. Anyways, I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. I really like this album. I love this album. I highly recommend it. And I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will too. So yeah, that's about it. Earl Sweatshirt, some rap songs. That's album of the week. See you next week. Whenever that happens.